Oh, the music is already so good. Hi, YouTube. Welcome to Frostpunk. I'm in a onesie because Twitch chat is awesome. <laughs> so uh, here we are. Uh, it's good to see you. Thank you for watching as well. And um, yeah, we're jumping into the Frostpunk 2 beta. I'm excited. Uh, Frostpunk 2, ha uh, Frostpunk 1 also had an amazing soundtrack. Yes. Mm hmm. There's a dusting of snow on your car. We're apparently also going down to freezing, basically. Okay, still a bit loud. That's better. Maybe we'll take it down even a bit further. There we go. So I, I cranked everything up. I, I cranked up everything. Wait, is this... No, this thing on. I don't know how it's gonna run. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, how that goes. So yeah, I've, I've not watched anybody play. So somehow in this day and age, I am completely unspoiled as to... Uh, how this goes and whatnot. Hi, Tomokizu. There's a two now. Not yet. Not yet. Um, the, uh, this is a beta. The actual game comes out uh, in July. But yes, this will come out soon, TM. Hi, Jay Walker. So if you, if you somebody said earlier, 97 days. But uh, didn't survive in one anyways. That's fine. I mean, survival, you know, it's not necessary. Right? Right? <laughs> uh, Kiri wanted it to stay winter when she played this. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's on, that's on brand. That's the word that I'm looking for. Also, my hair. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted by my own hair. I just should just not look at my thing on the thing because i'm like this is weird and there is like bits of hair fluffing about good thing i'm wearing the hood thanks for making me wear the onesie today because that just hides everything uh, if you lose a frostbang it's called free cryo until they discover the cure for what kills you right right all right i'm excited shall we shall we get started i'm looking forward to this it's gonna be good all right we're gonna do the utopia builder preview hi timby good morning we are currently all called up, just uh, FYI. Hi, Saras. Good morning. Uh, what do you call it when a snowman throws a tantrum? A meltdown. Oh, heck. Well, I guess we're not called up, called up with the pungent. There you go. There you go. Off you go. Mor morning, Saras. Hi, crazy. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Good to see ya. Yeah, it's a proper meltdown, right? <laughs> Sorry, I just need to... My back hurts today. Um, not because of back pain. My back hurts today because I have the wonderful privilege of being a woman. And uh, so I need to sit in a specific way so it hurts less. Um, not the first one. Can't wait for this one to come out. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna be... Uh, I'm looking forward to it as well. Thank you, Timby. What's in the pocket? This is my emotional support shell. Yeah, this onesie comes with an emotional support uh, shell. A and paws. But I've, I've stuck that one inside. Timby with your watch streak. Let's go. Let's go. Is that a boo on the back? Yes. Yes, Retrogoon. Yes. Hi, hi, that's me. Friday. Let's go. Happy Friday. Thanks for being here. Yeah, it's just, it's just, I don't know. My, my body has taken a cue from CCP and decided that half cycle periods are fun. Uh, no, it's fine, actually, Pearl, because uh, I've taken the stuffing out of the tail. I have de-stuffed the tail, so it's not a bother anymore. Hi, Mahores. So, yeah, I had the privilege of having my period two weeks ago and then again today. Woohoo! Anyways. Uh, hi, Izzy! Good to see you! Yes, Frostpunk 2 beta, let's go. I'm excited. Also, uh, you're welcome for all the TMI stuff. Yeah. Make you have to speak German. There's no such thing as a minimum working age. 
Ähm, äh, es gibt kein minimales Arbeitsalter, I guess. Bonus, yeah, bonus period, exactly. But that also explains why I haven't lost any weight in the last uh, week. Because I've just been retaining water again. Because I always do that in the week before my period. So there you go. Is there progress in the thrombo onesie? No, not yet. I'm still, I'm still waiting to hear back from a couple of people. Uh, and some have said no. So it's, it's, uh, yeah. Working on it. Working on it. Hey, Snakebeard. Hello. Yeah. You're not friends. Yeah. Mein Alter ist noch bei der Arbeit. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, not for me, unfortunately, Platy. Not for me. I need the combined one, but they're not giving it to me. Because I don't have a gallbladder. Because apparently that's a contraindication. So, don't know. Maybe I'll have to find something else. Anyhow, it's fine. It's like, I could, it could be so much worse, right? It could be so much worse. It's just a little bit of back pain. Like, it's not like debilitating or anything like that. So, it's... Yeah, but it also explains why I've not lost any weight and I've regained all, uh, retained all the water because that's how my body do. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Well, no, not really, Uli. <laughs> it's just contraindicated. Okay, uh, Utopia build up, build a preview. So this is obviously not the full game. It's a beta. It's limited. And uh, I'm excited to check it out. Out of the icy apocalypse into a hopeful future, lead the city, survive, grow, expand and prosper. Can you build a world worth living in? You've had a big build. Uh, you have a big build. The amount of your water fluctuates due to water is baffling sometimes. Tim, like, I am not that tall, right? I'm 168, 1 meter 68, so average. A little bit above average for UK, average for Germany. I'm currently like 79-ish kilos. I can store up to two kilos of water weight and I will pee them out overnight once my period comes. Like, legitimately, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous how much water I can retain. And I've noticed now it all goes into my stomach area. It's ridiculous. I'm bigger than you, like taller. Yeah, I'm like 168-ish. Depends on time of day. In the morning, uh, I am. In the evening, sort of. <laughs> That's why you don't look at it. You kind of have to if you... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of... Kind of... Kind of have to, yeah. You're six seven. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. You're 164, 160. Oh, I gotcha, Tomokizo. Yeah. A little bit. Your body is helping you to lose weight. Yeah, but not in a very nice why is it sauna time to um uh, horus i wish i had a sauna sauna is amazing i love the sauna all right uh you have to be careful not to trip over you with your 195 yeah lex is about that tall yeah lex is uh that tall he can rest his chin on top of my head when he when we're both standing it's fine it's average it's average for a german woman below uh, above average for uk so i'm all right with it Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. This preview has been limited in scope. No story mode available. The game is a work in progress. Bugs, crashes, and placeholders may appear. Playthrough is capped at 300 weeks. Yeah. Ambition. All right. Colonization. Utopia. Population. Prosperity. I guess colonization is what it is. Hi, Weimer. Morning. You were 170 and six years ago, you were 92. Mm-hmm. Uh, part of you has heard that UI stuff isn't easy to miss. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Your parents have a sauna in storage. Oh, God. Like, the, the little, like, one-person tent sauna type stuff. <laughs> How's it going? Well, I'm 168, and last year I was 143, Snakebeard. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm much lighter now. Uh, hey, Genoxis. It's not my birthday, but good to see you. Hello. I lost like a person. Well, not in a year, but yes. Not in a year. In 13, 14, 15, almost 16 months at this point. So not in a year. That would have been very fast. Anyways, 
maps. Ooh, there's different maps. Can we actually play those? Oh, we can. Ew. Well, we're going to start with the basic one. Onboarding is on. Yes. Okay. You can't turn it off either. That's good. Hey, Marius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also with you. <laughs> right. Uh, Windswept Peaks. Sheltered between mountain ranges in a small valley, this place was judged well protected from the elements with relatively easy access to key resources. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Communities. Machinists and foragers. Workers and merchants. Not available. Lords and thinkers. Okay. That's all not in. Got it. Uh, that is still quite fast, to be fair. Yeah, but not that fast. Like, it's, it's like, it's like, um, just roughly using the 1% rule. So, it's pretty alright. Obviously, much faster at the start than it's going now. Hi, Serena, also. And hi, Nijord. Good morning. Hello. Oh, fire hazard. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, 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 yeah. I am very warm and fuzzy now, yes. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's been, it's been, you know, mostly sustainable and whatnot. Thank you, Tomokizo. Appreciate it. Not done yet, but getting there. Getting there. Yeah, so it's, it's like, it's like 64 and 16. So if you do the math, like, on average, that's still pretty all right. You're still on it? I mean, I am too. I am too. How much is that? Yeah, it's about four. It's like on average four kilos per month, but it's uh, it was a lot more at the start. Yeah. You're working on uh, losing 30. At least regular exercise is getting easier now. Let me. That's good. Exercise is really important for heart health and stuff like that. Diet is mostly kitchen though. Food. It's like 80%. Like, or rather, of losing weight is mostly food. Hi, Ceresi. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, but you started from a much lower number. And 16 kilos is heckin' amazing as well, Platy. And you're short. Yeah, it's always faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're short. That doesn't help. Because you have such a lo lower expenses. And 16 is still 2 kilos per month month on average, so, you know, let's go. Also, y'all should join us in the Discord talking about this, because we do. We should have, like, a corner for that, honestly, at this point. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Everyone helps not having children. Yes. Which is why I don't have any. No, I mean, other reasons, but yeah. You guess you're a stress eater. Yeah, same. I am as well. Mm hmm you're two months in yeah still some ways to go a change of the weight of your food is the challenging part it is you're trying to gain weight that is equally as difficult mm-hmm Ceresi. that is equally as uh, as difficult yeah well, so still tomokizo well done well done on getting started that's that's hard yeah Ah, hope we can get a dog and then do that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. You love you came home on time and hasn't missed it. No, we've just been chatting. I, we've just been chatting. It, like, I chatted the YouTube stream. We just kept chatting and I didn't mean to, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Still trying to work out a way. Yeah. I, rec I know it's not for everybody, but I recommend counting. Mm-hmm. I recommend counting. Not even like trying to like restrict. Just count at first to realize what has how many calories and how much you're eating. Because it's very easy to not realize how much you're eating. Anyways, let's actually play a game. Right, yeah. <laughs> I haven't made much progress. Maybe five kilo. Five kilo is a lot though, so Rese. Exactly, do that. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anyways, five kilo is a, is a lot. Yeah. Have you picked up that much weight? That's a lot. Mm-hmm. It stresses you too much? Uh, yeah, I get that. Maybe, have you tried, have you tried counting ahead of time rather than in the moment ccp like make a plan count it all and then you can be like oh i can eat all of this this is fine 
might that be better than doing it in the moment and then realizing oh crap I, I have nothing for dinner left or something like that maybe that works trick your brain into it like that and more looking at it like oh I can do all of this rather than a shoot I overshot and now I can't do anything the hacker's diet yeah the hacker's diet is good as well yeah mm-hmm Hey, if it works for you, it works. All right. Anyways, let's play a game, shall we? There are no seasons anymore. Temperatures stay stable for months and years. They are interwoven with whiteouts that engulf whole regions and howling winds and darkness. Ooh. You lost 12 in five months when you went on a dodgy black mold. In the oh, gosh, Mahoris. That sounds rough. Ooh. Well, I'm glad you got that sorted. Mm hmm just eat four times a week oh i mean it does work but you're not gonna get enough nutrients that way mm hmm dang you'd burn from 400 to 250 hot damn tim gg you've lost about as much as me a little bit more actually i'm about around 140 pounds i think because math and units and whatnot yeah eating more is better than eating less more with frequency not portion size that works for some people frequent small meals actually doesn't work for me at all but we're all different like that because if i do frequent small meals i just keep eating i just do two meals and then i'm done for the day yeah so uh yeah yeah it happens when you eat food yeah see i don't do that <laughs> Yeah, it works better for some people. For me, the, like, just doing two meals a day is much better. All right. Oh, press. I can also click it. I don't just have to press space. I can also click it to begin. Ha. You lied, game. You lied. Anyways. All right. A new beginning. The end of the world changes people. It changed us. Us, the foragers. Natural survivalists adapted to harsh frostland conditions. The ma machinists. Descendants of groups that built the initial cities and maintained their machinery. You do lunch and dinner. Yeah, see, I do breakfast and dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That works for me as well. Yeah. You do six meals a day. Holy smokes. The second one. You could you could also just do it for a period of time. You don't have to do it forever and ever, Willie. Just to get, like, uh, a feel for it. Because, unfortunately, a food being healthy doesn't mean that it has low calories um dry makes you feel unwell yeah fair fair yeah a lot of body builds to six yeah six a day sounds actually like work i agree yeah you do breakfast lunch dinner and so small you need to eat every two hours is that because for your digestion or just what you found out works better for you clients and colleagues all snacks snacks at work yeah that's evil that is evil yeah okay gotcha chibi yeah that makes sense yeah because you can't have big meals right my gonna thanks for the watch jake appreciate it uh we chose you as our steward to lead the city as overpopulation looms and resources dwindle we all dream of a better future what it should look like this we can't agree on tension stirs and radicals rear their heads navigating this will be your ultimate challenge notice it is kept at 300 weeks Fair enough. The city must not fall. Windswept peaks. Ooh, this looks cool. Colonize the frostlands. Nice. Yeah, I can't do six. Yeah, I would. I can't do. That's too much. Like, I can't do loads of those ones. It would stress. It would stress me out. Actually, I think. The coal is running out. We have grown in numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the frostland. But first, we located some coal deposits in rough terrain around the city. We must send frost-breaking crews to access them. We need more coal. Okay, it has the same issue that the first Frostpunk has, where the menu music is very loud, and then the in-game music is very quiet. So it has the same issue. Mm-hmm. This is a hell of a smaller than how how you left New London, right? Right, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, they do that. 
that what you gain what you eat uh influences how much you'll gain that day depends because you can still lose weight if you eat below what you expend that day if you only eat like twinkies or whatever but you're not you you can actually be malnutrition like you can you can be overweight and malnutrition at the same time depending on the type of food you eat hi mark hello okay let's check out the ui first of all because i've already been warned that people apparently miss things on the ui so i will do that i will also hydrate give me a moment i'm also gonna move this how are you doing today mark i'll move this because so it's not covering the questies there we go and otter fg yes blame chat yeah mm -hmm. rice and potatoes will make you gain a lot no that's not true that's not true Potatoes actually are a great diet food. Don't at me. Because they are decently low-ish in calories, but they make you so full. They have a very high CD80. Uh, I can never... They make you full. I can never say that word properly. They make you full. Body uses fats, proteins, and carbs differently. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It is, it is mostly... Said I said, said Iety. Yes, I can never say that one properly. Thank you. Hi, Infinity and Biscuits. Yeah, lentils are great for fullness. Yes, they just make you full. <laughs> it's it's. Try to eat high protein, lots of veggies and fruits, and just be below the certain number that you set yourself, and then you're kind of good. You are a potato. Well, time to eat Mark then. Nom nom. All right. Week one, day one, we start at the 8th of January, 1916. Apparently there's an old way station over here. I see. Whoa, the camera is very, very drifty. I see. Whoa. Whoa, can you like adjust that? No. Okay. It's very floaty camera. All right. But that's fair. Okay, this turns. It looks really good. It does have some depth of field going on though that I don't think I can turn off. Let me... Post-processing. It might be post-processing that's doing it. They make you farty? Mmm. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Don't love the depth of field. Okay, cool. <clears throat> there we are. All right. Yeah, whoa. This is like... I'm not a fan of the floaty camera. Because, like, press the button, stop. Then the camera stops three seconds later. I would rather have it just stop when I stop pressing the button. But that's something that can be hopefully add it later we've got heat stamps i guess that's currency yep originally literal stamps redeemable for a fixed quantity of heat they now function as a universal means of exchange meeting the demands for goods as well as certain laws and buildings can improve heat stamps income is it pizza day heck yeah Theme course. Yep. Specialized mechanical components required to construct advanced buildings and generator upgrades. They're too advanced to reliably manufacture. Search the frost stands to find more. It is pizza day indeed. Wow. 4,800 workforce. Our city is definitely bigger. Even though it doesn't look like it's bigger, but it does is bigger. Okay. Surplus f heat is 70. Cucumber pizza. No, we're just having, we're just having store-bought pizza. How would you quantify a certain amount of redeemable heat? It's probably... Knowing how Frostpunk cities were run, it probably changes week on week, I would say. Izzy. Shelter. 90 available demand. 62 by foragers. 59 by machines. 90 fulfilled. 31 unfulfilled. Okay, we have 90 available, but 31 are lacking. Okay, we have 160 surplus on food. 
I fail to meet... Oh, typo. Uh, demand for food will cause hunger to grow. Build food districts, find food sources in the frost, and conduct research and pass laws to keep famine at bay. There's certain inflation depending on the weather. That makes sense. Yeah. Hi, Rebarbus Laughs. Good to see you. Uh, living space increases cold when lacking. Build housing, pass laws, construct buildings. Got it. Materials absent. Process resources used for industry and maintenance. Without them, the harsh conditions will deteriorate our infrastructure and increase squalor. To increase materials, extract them from frozen forests or iron ore. Chart the frost zone and pass laws. The transfer is calculated in British thermal units, BTUs. There you go. Goods. It's limited. We demand 41, but we only have 15 available. Objects necessary for everyday life. Failure to meet causes crime and reduces heat stamps income. Produce goods in industrial districts and buildings and pass laws. Coal. We have no coal available. We need 70. And our stockpile is giving us 70. It's going to last for 19 weeks. A reliable, a reliable tried and true source of fuel, burnt and generated to provide heat. Increase coal output by constructing extraction districts, conducting research, or charting the frost lands. Guard squads. We have 12. Units of law enforcement officers whom the city employs to maintain order. Order! <laughs> they help to reduce crime and stifle unrest. Uh, exactly. Mine it. Mine it, Fab Baptist. Do it. Construct buildings, pass laws, produce arms to increase their effectiveness. Okay. Foragers, community, relations neutral, size 51%. Fund projects beneficial to their community, larger their population, the more heat stamps required to, to fund them, to improve their relationships. And then I can request funds from them and then mash. Okay. I see. I see. So it's like. Okay. Got it. Hi, OMG. I love steak. Hello. Hello. This Canada sim looks good. It does look good, doesn't it? I have cranked everything up to max except for pulse processing because I didn't like the FOV chromatic aberration it was doing. There's no tension. Um, it's absent. It's marginally increased by minor cold. Tolerated. City trust. Unchanged by neutral foragers. Unchanged by neutral match, uh, machinists. Relations define how much communities trust you. Bigger communities impact city trust more. Got it. Construct buildings, construct districts and hubs. Frost break a new area. Mm-hmm. The order for Brett Murray's of high school German class. Oh, no, we'll sign it. <laughs> now, the order was more uh, the uh, speaker of the house. Uh, the British speaker of the house. Order! <laughs> Just dunk, dunk, dunk. Stop it. Okay. Frost breaking. Initially, you can only build districts in a limited area. The wider terrain is covered in frozen, st frozen stiff ground, which is impossible to construct upon. To widen the buildable area, you need to use frost breakers. You can send them out by clicking on the frost breaking button located in the bottom right. Find your way towards the edges of the buildable area and click on wild tiles until the in indicator circle is full. Frost breakable resource tiles will be colored in blue with the icon of corresponding resource over them. The cost is fixed and I send no more tiles to click. The amount of tiles needed to begin frost breaking is always the same. All right. Frost breaking. Teams of workers with heavy equipment breaking ice and preparing ground so the city can be expanded. Okay, we probably want to go this way. Odeur. Odeur. Wait, no, that's a different thing. Uh, okay, I see. Okay. I'm also gonna... Yeah. It definitely has the same issue. Oh, it didn't save. Even though it asked me. And I said, oh, changes will be lost. Okay, see, there are unsafe changes. Are you sure you want to leave? For me, this checkmark implies that. If you click this. It saves them, but it didn't. Okay. There we go. Maybe that's better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Locksmith. And yeah. Exactly that. Frozen forest. Resource materials. Okay. Ooh. Warmer season, colder season. White out. Minus 20 degrees right now. Calm weather. Population. 1% progress. The more people are healthy, the more kids grow, grow up able and are joining the active population. All right, the city. Click to focus on the city. Okay. 
Eat stamps. They're stuck by respawns. Can we spend on frost breaking, construction, or using specific actions? We get them every week. The bigger the community, the more they provide. They can increase by satisfying goods demand. Modified by laws and buildings. You can request or donate them to community and factions. Okay. Now maybe it's a... Ah, too loud. <laughs> Sorry. We will find the optimal thing. Mine are cold. Hunger is absent. Squalor is absent. Disease is absent. Crime is absent. Ah. This is the old way station. Ruins and oven. I, I don't... Okay. The one thing that so far I don't like is the floaty camera. You're having a falafel salad today at the evening shift. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds absolutely delicious. Districts. They're the base of your city's economy. Built them to produce or process resources. Provide shelter or recruit frostland teams. Districts have a fixed number of tiles needed to begin construction. When building a district, keep out look for the indicator circle, which shows how many tiles you still have to click for the construction to start. The maps are very, very big. Yeah, so... Industrial construction. Plus 30,000 food stockpile capacity and extraction. Wait. I click between these, but the only thing I get is... Oh, depots, I see. Coal and oil stockpile capacity, good stockpile capacity, material. No. Nothing else available. Oh, districts and hubs. There we go. Industrial. Outputs, goods. Extraction. Rural resource extraction can be constructed on different types of deposits. So I guess around here. Select six areas. Ooh. Interesting. Also, hexagons are bestagons. You totally shouldn't, but it really wants to. So do it. Ooh. Ooh, I like the roads. Okay, I like the building system. You're looking at change. Why is a 5 cent coin bigger than 10? And 50 bigger than 1? At least they're different, but I feel... Weird when deciding to step by value or size. I say... Hi, Carl! Good to see you. Well, they're different sizes, so people that can't see them can... Tell them apart. Usually that's why. Okay, we need more housing as well. God, this music is good, but also creepy. Hi, Infinity Simplex. How's it going? Hello. Oh, let's break. Let's frost break. To work. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like the floaty camera. Like it's really hard to stop on a re on an, on an area that I want to stop on. Because you just keep going like, noom, 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 zoom, wee, and then you end up somewhere completely different. Yeah, don't like that. Give me, give me a setting where it just stops when I stop pressing the button. I am doing great, Kalk. Thank you for asking. I hope you're doing good as well. Having a good Friday. Okay, we're going to get those. We do need more shelter. Districts and hubs. Food. Housing districts. They demand heat. They output 20 shelter. We have 70. Available zero though. So I feel right now... Okay. We have 3,900 workforce available, so they demand 50 materials. I'm not getting any materials right now, so we should wait to build something. You are fine. You're damn fine. <laughs> what? I didn't say that. Hmm? What, me? I would never. I would never say that. No. What now? No. Air transport. 
Wait, proximity workforce requires a neighbor and districts is decreased. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Shallow coal deposit. This looks so good, though. Whoa, is it like an automaton thing? This looks cool. Okay, the visuals are sweet. They are sweet. All right. Tell me about output and demand. The city's economy is based on the output and demand of various resources. Output and demand are any change when a new source of output or demand is added to the city. Like buildings or districts. Output is the sum of resources produced by districts and building. For example, food output can be increased by building districts on fertile ground. Demand is increased by the needs of your people who require food, shelter, and goods for them to live in dignity. Districts and building mostly increase materials or heat demand. If demand isn't fully met, problems, cold, crime, squalor, hunger, or disease in a city will arise. For a while, city can survive without satisfying all demands, but eventually tension will reach a boiling point, which may lead to your downfall. Okay. So, we do have, wait, we do have extra heat. Hi, Shibaruka! I have a onesie on and you have, you don't have to wear t-shirts. Also, the onesie is because of chat. Blame chat. Uh, you can construct buildings in districts if there's an empty building slot. Buildings have to demand an output, which you added on the already existing economy of a district. They can improve base output or reduce problems directly, squalor or crime. You don't have many buildings available for construction. However, the Research Institute is a building that is always available from the very beginning. It provides you with access to the idea tray and your cumulative bonus to research speed. Developing new ideas is essential to the invention of new technology. Yes, chat, chat hit the sub goal. And um, they, yep. Mm hmm. We hit the sub goal. Good to par, good to par. It says I can do that. But at the same time, it's also not yet available. But I may have also broken it in terms of tutorial because I started an extraction on the wood first before I started the extraction district on the coal. Sorry. I may have should have done that before. Gonna lurk? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Northern Britain? Oh, no, it's not that cold here in, in the UK. But uh i hope so too thanks for hanging out have a good lurk shiva ruka that's 40 heat but i actually have heat available in the surplus let's get let's get folks set up with the housing districts yes wood always would need it Wow, they're zooming. They're even having like trails because they're zooming so much. Hot damn. It's definitely a much bigger scale, is it not? All right, what's this? Looming cold. Huh. As the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizen. Uh... In these harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is the gener po generator powerful enough to heat the city, or do we need extra extract more fuel? If our current methods aren't enough, we should consider alternative. Cold has a has risen to a concerning level. Cold notable, extremely increased by sc shelter scarcity. Well, I'm working on it. Wood, coal, food. The three basic food groups of a new Londoner. Yeah. Well, we're working on that, so that hopefully should help. Uh, oh, you still camera controls, keybinds. Okay. Yeah, I can't access research yet. Even though they said I can't technically construct it. But the only thing I see is a materials depot. So 
So a food depot, a fuel depot, a goods depot, or materials. So that's all I see for now. Sawdust infused soup. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, we're doing that, which is over here. And then we'll see. It does definitely look really, really cool, though. Okay, the extraction one is almost done. We secured a new source of coal for the generator, but now we need shelter. Without it, people will still freeze to death, regardless of how hot the generator runs. The closer to the generator, the better. We cannot afford to lose more heat than we have to. Got it. So I'm putting them over here. Construct two housing districts. Why do they look so cool? I know, it does look really cool. The visual style is really, 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 really nice. Area effects. Pay attention to where you construct district, as area effects may give them additional positive and negative effects. Area effects caused by environmental circumstances. Uh, or by proximity to other districts. They are applied when a specific number of district tiles are located within it. While building any district, a tool tip will provide information about whether your con current construction has any area effect applied. Good to place housing districts near the central district and near other housing districts to prevent it benefit from efficient heating. On the other hand, is avoid building housing or food districts near extraction since toxic air from the extraction work will negatively affect them, increasing squalor. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the floaty camera. That's like my biggest my biggest complaint right now. It's just the camera that you stop pressing and we still keep going on for seconds. Don't like that. But besides that, yeah. Security for the future. Ooh, hi Dwarfbane, morning, good to see you, hello. We are currently extracting more coal than we need to provide adequate heat. As such, we have begun to stockpile the surplus. At the moment, we have ample storage space left. However, the space will eventually be filled, and any additional coal will be left out in the elements, rendering it worthless. We should build more depots. Okay, I can construct them in any district that have empty building. Okay. Uh, construct buildings. Uh, industrial. Fuel depot. Boop. Put that in there. It's slipping on the ice. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Uh-huh. Okay, cold is minor, but it's diminishing. So that's good. You wonder how New London is doing. <laughs> I mean, my New London playthrough, like, we were doing okay. We survived. So I think we're doing okay. Okay, colder season on week 60, I guess. All right. <laughs> Ice cold. Ice, ice, baby. Mm-hmm. There are 21 more, more people sick and unable to work in the city. No snow there, but also no kitty cats. Unresolved problems in the city can make part of its, make part of its workforce absent. They're temporarily excluded from the workforce. Uh, there are two main types, sick and injured. Okay, yeah. That is very much like old one. Also punk 2, frost punk 2, yeah. Butt punk 2, rotter punk. Uh, indeed. Okay, we're almost there. There we go. With heat from the generator and shelter for everyone, we're safe from the cold for now. But as the city grows, it will not be enough. The machinists and foragers have different opinions on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expand a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute. Select an existing housing district. Expand it. All right, we're doing it, doing it, we got this. OK, 
Okay, we're... Okay. Stockpiling. We're actually not stockpiling anything. Hmm. Not quite, but all right, all right, all right. Uh, what are you yelling at me about? Oh, expanding districts. Expand ones are more efficient and provide more building slots. Okay. Wonderful. There are not enough adjacent towns to select the city district. Cannot be expanded. Mindful housing district has and have no. So that's why you need to expand them. Yeah, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Uh, hi, Spikey. A new law has passed. Eat the little ones. Wow. Wow. We don't have to resort to that yet. Yeah, it's, uh, like, there's a lot of snow. There's a lot of snow. I was like, Aya, hello. How's it going? Good to see you. Spending food, stockpiling, spending. Okay. Build a research institute. Construct buildings, housing, research institute. Dense housing. Well, it's set. Oh, I can put it over there. Not bad, you slept well. That's a bonus. That is good. Yeah, let's go. That is very, very, very good. Glad to hear that. Mm-hmm. Research gold mine coal mines. Burpy! Hi! And thank you. So much. Round number smile. Thank you so much for two flipping years of support. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you. Hi. And thank you so 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 much. I really appreciate it. How are you doing today? Thanks for the support. Happy Friday. All right. And they did too. Okay, cool. Shelter and everything. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, we do still need to do goods. Goods are not very, not very nice. Okay, we're only getting 11. We could be getting a lot more, but we need more goods. I suppose it's going to tell us teach us how to do that in just a moment it does look really cool though we all right uh different ideas a small crowd gathers outside of the new research institute arguing how to exploit the last coal veins the machine machinist machinist Wants us to lean on machine part mining, but foragers would have us pursue a more frugal solution. They would never display such discord in the captain's heyday. You have to choose who to entrust with developing their idea. Show me our options. All right, coal mines. Let's see. How can we mine more coal? Foragers. Dust coal mine. Requires an extraction district with a coal deposit. Mining operation where residual coal dust is sucked up and compressed into briquettes to make maximum use of the resource. Workforce requirement, coal output up. It is it adds the materials demand. Disease is slightly increased. Or grinding coal mine. Operating using grinding machines to churn through coal seams quickly, leaving heaps of flag behind. Unread. An 80 coal, less workout, squalor is increased, 60 materials. 15 weeks. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Pollution, gotcha. Increases sickliness, slows population growth, and wears down districts. That's a lot of materials. I like that it's more cold, though. Let's go with that. 
Okay, we're researching that now. Our materials, we still have a surplus, but we're not going to have a surplus. For that much longer, but we're stockpiling it as well. And we definitely still need goods. So... We probably want... Oh, this also requires materials. Hmm. Oh, shared workers. Less workers used. Don't forget food. Yeah. I know. Alright, we can't go there. Oh, because we haven't frost broken it. Got it. That makes sense. That's what's being researched down there. You can't see it. I'm in front of it, but... Okay. Yeah, we need to frost break more stuff around here. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Oh, chat. Isn't it lovely summer weather? It's June right now. Isn't it lovely summer weather? <laughs> Goodness. Goodness me. Dang it. Wrong button. What, how much is this? 340. Let's go to the beach, right? Right. Let's go. Perfect weather for cuddling. Uh, it's time to wear sh some shorts. Yes. Yes. Very much so. <laughs> How much are you allowed to play? It cu it cuts you off at 300 weeks, Sven. So it depends on how... on what speed you play. <laughs> but yeah, we can show three... Like, at, like, the beta ends at 300 weeks. So there is no time limit, and you can replay it on the different maps over and over and over, but your actual... Like, once you're on a map, the actual playthrough on the map is limited to 300 weeks. Got AC on because it's so hot. How hot are you where you are? Uh, how hot is it where you are? Also, how hot are you where you are? No, um, what? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, you know? You meant in game. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. I get it. I see, I see, I see. Couldn't play Frostpunk for the same reason as you could play this War of Mines. Too sad. You're a 10 out of 10, Locks Muffin. Got it, got it. Good, good, good. Hi, Tariq. If I says you're very hot, she wants to know why you're asking. Well. Uh, yeah, I felt that blind coda at the start. And then the more you play it, you kind of... You kind of get a bit, bit desensitized and it's kind of just another game at that point. But yeah, I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. Seven weeks, five days left to research that. Hot damn. All right, we're spending our coal. Yeah, we're not doing enough coal. Can I expand this? Yes. I'm going to expand that because we're not, we're spending all of our coal. It's a bit bleak, but hopeful. I feel like this war of mine can be a hopeful thing because you make it through, right? And if you, if you make it through, you quote unquote win, you, um, you know, people survive and whatnot. Yeah. You've become so emotional. You cry about so many games. No, that's fair. I feel that. No, that's totally fair. That's fair. All right. Demands and requirements. Police and district have their requirements represented in resources work for the both. If those are not fulfilled, they can't function and become disabled. Um, you need to fulfill all of them to keep the district running. Got it. 
You brought the overthinking penguin tea. They have a they have a um a sale that is evil. Total output, total demand. So now Okay. You're spending 50 a day for now. Yes. Food, we're still stockpiling. We're not. Okay, goods are doing better. We are getting 15 now. Heat stamps, that's good. Coal mines are still doing their thing. Um, don't have enough materials or heat to... Oh, no, there we go. There's food over here. You bought it in future platy size though? Yeah, I did the same with my, uh, with the t-shirt I bought. Which then hopefully actually is also future FD size. I had to kind of guess, but I used Kalu as a, as a guide, so it should be all right. <laughs> I hope, fingers crossed. Uh, you can use various actions in districts. They range from enacting emergency shifts in a specific district to sending guards to quell a protest. Some district actions are available by default. Others can be unlocked by constructing specific buildings in a district or if the state of a district changes. Got it. Demolish. Close it. All right. Output demand. Ongoing construction. Oh, output. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. It's still weird that it says there is a surplus. Yeah, that does not make sense. We have a requirements of 150. We're outputting 200. Hundred from fifty from the extraction district and then some from the stockpile. But why are we outputting from the stockpile if we're making enough? Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Shulel. Very crisp. It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? But no. Yes. It's good to see you, Shulel. It looks really good. I agree. Trust is located below the tension meter at the bottom of the screen. Shows how much confidence people have in you. It may consist of your relation with all community and factions. If trust runs out and become despised amongst your people, the populace might want to depose of you and strip you of your... Yeah, okay, got it. It is. Yeah, but why are we... Why are we... Why are we putting it out? Why is the stockpile automatically putting 100, 100 out? Like, why are we outputting 50 more than we're demanding? Hi, Giggles. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. You can't see them super duper well, unfortunately. You can't zoom in super duper close. So you can't see them that, that well, unfortunately. They have, like, some visual distortion going on, so you can't... It's basically an automaton, I think. Um, yeah, it's an automaton. So you, but you can't see them very well, unfortunately. Yeah, this is weird. It says surplus, but also that we're spending. It's very odd. I'm doing quite well. Thank you for asking. Construct the new re research building. Grinding coal mine. Bloop. Mm-hmm. Also, it's going to get colder. We'll probably get more research going. 
Advanced coal mine hothouses. Bio waste drum hothouse. Ooh. Industrial sized hothouse where organic waste ferments in large vats, fertilizing revolving shelves of crops. Oh, okay. So it's just fertilization. Okay. That sounded a lot grosser before it explained what it actually does. Chemical drum. Industrial sized hothouse where chemical nutrients are injected to tops of crops to accelerate. Squalor is increased. 30 food out, 60 food out. No, we'll go with this one. Can't afford the research, though. Oh, we have also economy and society. Okay, got it. The research screen looks really good. But I think the research screen has a bit of a aesthetic overusability vibe. Because it is a bit tedious to navigate. Mm-hmm. Overall, I think. Like, comparatively. Also, the camera is, like, much slower in there for some reason than in the overworld. Oh, yeah. Massively. Massively. Like, there's much more... There's much more resources that you have to, um... generate and balance and, like, you use certain resources to generate other resources and you need to balance all of that sort of stuff and um you don't really build buildings in this you build districts and then you can build buildings in the districts and stuff like that so it's very it's it's quite different actually like it's much more it's on a grander scale overall than the smaller city building in um in frostpunk also represented by the fact that we have thousands of people in this city rather than tens or hundreds at this point. Also, chat, I know it's only been 90 minutes, but I really, really, really need to pee. So uh, I'm going to go take a super duper quick break and pop to the bathroom. Thank you all so much for being here and your support today. Uh, what a crazy, crazy hype train already. I will be right back. Uh, hit the follow button if you're watching on Twitch. Hit the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. I will be right back. Enjoy the tunes. Thank you so much for being here. Take my 
All right, everybody, I'm back. Thank you for sticking around. I can appreciate it. I just had to pop to the bathroom real quick because I needed to pee because, you know, that's how that is. Also, yeah, streamer has returned. Your steamer that you typed did I win yet is probably in the kitchen. Or if it's a clothes steamer, it might be where you do your laundry. <laughs> Sorry, just making typo jokes. Thank you, Timby. Thanks, Giggles. Thank you, thank you. Also, yes, I am I am back. Officially back with a onesie on. There we go. There we go. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I actually was in the bathroom. But your steamer might be in there if it's, you know, a vegetable steamer. Yeah. Hi, Yano Guns. You played the first. It didn't succeed, but it was fun. Yeah, so far, this is cool. I like it. Like it. There's a couple of minor things so far, but overall, I the it seems really good. It seems really, 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 really good so far. Mhm. Mm also, hi, happy Friday. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. And thanks everybody for being here and hanging out. Uh, with your new mind, we have enough cold output to last us a while. Yet differences between the communities remain. Even under the previous leader, plans have existed to establish a council to set to settle such differences. More pressing problems always delete them. The time has come. The people want to say in how the city is run. Built this city hall in the central district. I need more heat stamps. Okay. Hi, Hapako. Lovely to see you. Hi. How are you? Have a good lurk. No, I wasn't making sandwiches. I, I was just making a joke. Did I win yet? Because you wrote, where did my steamer go? Instead of, where did my streamer go? So I made a joke about, you know, steamer being a cooking implement. So it's in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, sorry. Not sorry. But, yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The correct spelling is steamer. No, no, it's not. I'm not a steamer. I'm just a streamer. All right, council hall. Where does it go? There. I feel the visibility on like where you can place your buildings could be a bit more increased. It's very artsy. A lot of it is very artsy. Uh, also, it's yelling at me that I can build. Oh, I think it's yelling at me just because of the the council building there. That's a heckin' fancy council building as well. Frostpunk 2, indeed. Yep. Mm-hmm. Smash, 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 smash. <laughs> All right. Council gathers for the first time. We can vote on new laws. That, that doesn't look... Oh, they're celebrating. I think they're celebrating. <laughs> I hope they're celebrating. People cheer as the gates of the council open. It feels like a piece of the world lost to the frost has been regained. The people are hopeful to have their voices heard. While the ma uh, machinists and foragers clash about our survival strategy, neither has a firm stance on economic or social issues. However, many in their ranks do, though they keep to the shadows for now. To pass any law in the council, you will need the majority of delegates, delegates to support it. Oh, dang. Fancy. The people of the city sent 100 delegates to represent them. Your role as steward is to propose laws that will be put to a vote. However, Communities have a different outlook on many things. You may have to negotiate or pressure them to get enough support. Propose a law. If 
foods, foraged additives, chemical additives, mass produced goods, durable goods. Paid essentials, free essentials. Hi, Peace Monkey. Okay. Allow productive outsiders except all of them. Community service. City development effort. Okay. Heat pipe watch. Heat demand is slightly decreased. Okay. Community service. That's for that. Democracy! We're sp spreading democracy. Yeah. People are divided. People are divided. Equality. What's merit? Progress. Do I have to? Supply? Thing? Okay. People, people are still... Okay, people are just super duper divided. In order to make best use, we will focus on producing sturdy and easily repairable goods. Let's propose that. Okay. 438. Hesitant, 37. Against, 25. Vote or negotiate? Oh, okay. Th 51 required. Oh, I see. The votes are in. The measure passes. Oh. So it's like a random thing. Hi, Ultimate Kung Fu. Okay, 58 voted for it. A new law has been agreed on. Uh, good. There are challenges ahead. Improving coal extraction is a success, but the vein will only last so long. We need to explore the Frostland for a permanent source of fuel. That's the first step in our colonization effort. If you don't take it, the city will have no future. This concludes the onboarding task in this preview. You can always consult the tutorial. Build the logistics stress districts in place of one-way stations on the city's outskirts. Find a permanent source of fuel outside. Frostpunk 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. Indeed. Let's go. Okay, so I guess I have to get all the way... ...to the old way station, I presume. To get that going. Alright. Yes, it's my turn today. Well, it's not really my turn. I could have done it earlier, but this worked out for the best because we're going to do... Um, we're going to play this. And then later, we're going to play some Planet Crafter with Lex. Survival adaptation. Oh. Economy, merit or... Okay, so it's adaptation or progress. Merit or equality, tradition and reason. There's a lot going on in the UI in this game. Hot damn. Mm-hmm. There is a lot. Mm-hmm. Job's done. Yeah. Job's done. Logistics district. Logistics. Oh, no, those buildings. Need heat stamps. 150. Okay. Gotta wait for that. Oh, we... Okay. We have a surplus of heat. We have a surplus of shelter. Food. We still technically have a surplus, but not really because we're using the stockpile. Materials we're spending. We're stockpiling goods and we're stockpiling coal, coal. Yeah, we need to make more goods. But we could possibly expand this. Hmm. What are you telling me about? Frostland introduction. Ah. Got it. Council Zeitgeist. City direction. You can monitor the Zeitgeist of your city in the bottom left corner of the screen. Zeitgeist means spirit of time. Yes, thank you. I do speak German game. 
<laughs> and describes the direction of your city on three axes technology economy society the laws you pass buildings you build and choices you make they all impact the zeitgeist okay or does your decision shape the zeitgeist be on the lookout for dissent which can tear your city apart we are tolerated we are tolerated yay i'm tolerable or something like that How much was the logistics district again? 150. All right. Got to wait a few more weeks then. Fans are going to freeze in the ice mines. That's okay. We're otters here, Faye. Sorry. Uh, we'll gladly send the pandas to the mines. Oh, God. Sue Miller, 12. Street urchin. Looking for trouble. City's pa went and got her a governess like she's going to be a duchess or something. Not on our watch. We roughed up the little bitch, all right? Holy sh... Holy crap. Okay. Ferguson boys will learn this too. If they try and wife us again tonight, we'll pull razors and say we'll cut out their eyes. It'll be good fun. But what we, what we want is a proper rumble. Short blades only. Come on, who wants to play? The lack of a law regulating childhood is causing tension to rise throughout the city. Jesus Christ! That 12-year-old is terrifying! See, children always just looking for trouble. Always. Always. Heckin' children, I swear. <laughs> oh, no, you know, Tomatan is broken down, it's blocking traffic. Clearly, we've made it if we already have to deal with traffic jams. That definitely means we've made it. Mm-hmm. That definitely means we've made it. Come on, give me more heat stamps, plus. There we go. All right, let's pause and get the logistics to power going. Oh, God, this is like the worst way of doing that district, I reckon, but... At least we're getting it now. Sorry. There we are. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, we need more food. rule oh okay that's a different thing childhood no common rules family apprenticeship percentage of active work is a slightly increase mandatory school we get less heat stamps but we get more research speed I'm going to go with family apprenticeship. Hi, Omri. Morning. Because right now we don't have much research going on anyways. Sorry. I'm going to put this on a very... Oh. The delegates have spoken. The okay. law takes effect. Yes. You go, I'll get... Apprenticed. <laughs> How's it going? Good to see you. Happy Friday. Happy heckin' Friday. Heat demand has increased. Woo! Getting frosty. Temperature. Tell me more. Uh, keep an eye on the weather timeline. You already noticed. They were present by thermometer icons. When temperature drops, heat demand increases. When temperature rises, heat demand decreases. Stockpile fuel and resource depots otherwise cold may increase disease be aware of whiteouts so the, those are weather anomalies that introduce severe and punishing conditions all right it's friday yeah it is friday let's go heckin friday oh yeah i mean 50 heat stamps to expand it's friday, mm -hmm. it's friday. We gotta get down on friday no cats yet, though. So far today, unfortunately. 
Squalor. Okay. Slightly increased by the grinding coal mine. All right, that's fine. Okay, we will go and expand. The food district slightly because we are not getting enough food at all. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, chat. It's time to starve. Ooh. Our initial stockpiles of food have run out. Our current output will satisfy some of the demand, but problems will mount over time. Expand our districts. Yep. Yep, I'm working on it. Not quite. All right, our logistics district is ready and Frostland team stand by for orders. Frostland exploration is available. V. Go to the Frostlands. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. Whoa, okay, it's pretty big. All right. All right. Launch expeditions to discover places and resources you can harvest. You can select the territories to explore by clicking on the names. To explore territory, you need to allocate a certain number of Frostland teams, which are sourced from the logistics district. Frozen strawberries. Mmm, yummy. I actually had strawberries this morning. The number of Frostland teams required depends on the difficulty of the territory. These hilly or mountainous. I guess the territory is more challenging and requires more Frostland teams. The cost and exploration can be, can be reduced. Okay. Have I uh, considered planting catnip? I have not. Okay, I see. Mountains, yeah. Frozen desert. Mmm, a frozen dessert. Triple chocolate hot cross bun for breakfast. Dang. I had uh, scrambled eggs with tomatoes, spinach, and some chorizo, and then Greek yogurt with some chia seeds and strawberries and honey. It was very yummy. I even had oats with black currants. Ooh, that's good too. Quiet lowlands nestled between hills or mountains, offering some respite to travelers amidst the rugged terrain. Pre uh, presents little challenge for exploration. Safe territory, fast chart, few frost and teams required. Possible findings, coal. Time to chart, 18 weeks. Pfft. Required 10 teams, launch. Right, back to the city. Whoa. Oh, that takes me there. But not there. Got it. All right, cool. Yeah, we're definitely uh, having a food issue. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. We're still 60 food unfulfilled. Goods factory, hot houses. Let's go for this. So we can make more food. Yes, you only have 300 weeks. Yes, yes. It is quite limited in time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a little teaser. Just to get you right into it. And then they're like, no more. Uh, you were smart rumor to take them out. The freezer last night. And that you had to take them out this morning. 300 weeks would be 69 months. Is it uh, retrograde? Is it actually 69 months? 15 in game time. 15 what in game time? Rex Dale. 45, entrepreneur. Oh, 15 years in game time. Gotcha. Uh, returning from the city approach trail. A profitable day. This couple were all rags and bones, useless. But then there was this woman with real ruby earrings. Also to cover the arrival fee, I said. The wife will love those. Next was a bunch of strong fellas. I sent them straight to Elaine's place. Should have bring them dry before I get home. Lately, there's been less of them. Maybe word is getting around. Gotta take advantage where it lasts. 
The lack of a law regulating outsiders is decreasing population growth. Oh. You. I see. You are unfulfilled. Wow. Materials. Oof. Okay. Yeah, as soon, as soon as the tutorial ends, the game just starts like punching you down. Uh-huh. It immediately goes there. Hot damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entrepreneur shaking down new arrivals. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much is the... 120, oof. That's rough, that's a lot. Hunger Miner. Miner Squalor. <gasps> boop! Boop on the snoot! I do actually need a frost break. More of this though, because we don't have access to this entire area yet. Uh, Colors of Frost and do you make actual cities? Uh, I believe you make outposts, basically. Ah, uh, <gasps> Mar, go, 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 go. Yeah, you have a sweet potato fries that you forgot about. Mm, lunchtime later. <laughs> yeah i think you make um outposts basically like permanent outposts you could already make outposts in the first one but they were only temporary right you needed to recall them before the great freeze happened at the end of the game and i think in this one you just make them permanently because this one is a lot more geared towards like just surviving or like as long as you can and growing and that sort of stuff you're getting a sense of deja vu have you been here before <laughs> oh gosh yeah this is this is nasty right now don't own the game yet oh the first one or the second one what me i would never yeah it's because the 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 hood has like this this overlap from the from the snoot so it gives me like a visor type look gotcha 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 oh right, what's this resource deposit nearly depleted uh oh yeah 28 weeks 28 weeks is quite a while though why do you shock me like that? That's rude. Okay, six weeks, six days. To shard that. Last one two is a civilization builder survivor. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely focuses on um, different things, so to speak. Exactly, because it focuses more on a mass of people like your populations is in the thousands uh rather than like tens or hundreds yeah like this game is set in 1970 yeah this one is a little bit set after because frostbank was like end of the 19th century wasn't it they say what caused the ice age no they did not uh, it's because you're the first one because you passed your colony builder phase, except for Rimbold. Gotcha. Fair, fair, fair. Also, hi, Mr. Trilby. Good to see you. Hello. How are you today? Okay, it's going to get colder and it's going to get warmer for now. Oh, what do you want? Stuart, it seems some of us citizens are profiteering from outsiders trying to get into the city. Yeah, let's address this. outsiders 
Allow productive outsiders. Yes. So what does this negotiating was? Okay. Negotiate with the foragers. Oh, they will vote for... And then that. Or I can just... Put it to a vote. And then wait and see if they vote for it or not. So far we've gotten lucky. That they voted for it. Yeah, okay. Without having to like... Give them anything in return. It's not just a hoodie. It's, a, it's an entire onesie. But yes, it has ears. And, and paws, and emotionally, emotional support shells, and a tail too, and stuff like that. Yep, 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 yep. 1.5k people came. Holy. Now I don't have enough shelter. New has revealed significant growth in a population in recent week. So I attribute this to a rise in influx of settlers from the frostland, others to births outnumbering deaths. Okay. Hi, Berlo. Looks cozy. The onesie, it is very cozy. Um, yeah. so I'm afraid that a massive climate change happened like a meteor strike. There's also a possibility the government screwed, screwed over stuff. The secret military experiment gone wrong. Yeah, they've not actually ever really... They've never really actually set. Yeah. Housing district. Uh, we can't get email bonus from that one. But we can get bonus from this one, though. There we go. We'll expand. Bio waste drum hothouse. Yes, we need it. Can I build it, though? I need 80. Okay, we're getting six, 17 per week, so that's going to take a bit. One week, two days until that's done. I'm actually surprised, though. It does run. I mean, to be fair, okay. I have I have a freaking beast of a computer, right? But considering this is a beta, it runs quite well. There's a little bit of stuttering here and there, but I know the very first Frostpunk was like murder on a lot of people's machines. A lot of people's machines. This one runs quite well. Are, are we... Oh no, my stockpile is not full. Good, good, good. That is an interesting way of doing districts. Yes, agreed. It was 80, right? Yeah, I like nine heat stamps to build it. Finished. Oh, they they don't give you a a thing. Game. I don't think I wanted to discover Pete Stingle. I don't think I wanted to discover that. I'm. Yeah. I don't think I wanted to discover that. Just saying. There is giggles. Yeah, it's very bright and white. But uh, yeah, we've discovered Pete's Dingle. We followed a petrified river up the frost and spotted a sharp bent north. Could be an indicator of underground resources like oil or gas. Oil treated sledges. We stumbled upon an... Uh, Pete's Dingle is quite large. Yeah, right. Hi, Purple Trader. We have across an abandoned caravan of sledges, long since picked clean. Closer inspection revealed wood that had been treated with oil, a crude but effective method of waterproofing. Resin tracks uh, indicate the sledges came from the northwest. Meager coal mine. Cresting a snowdrift, we found a long abandoned coal mine nearly depleted. More than enough coal remains to send back to the city. Let's have a look. Build a trail or railway path to Lucy's location. Connect the trail. Ooh. But how do you connect it? Do you just click on this? 
Wait, what? Oh, okay. What? Okay. I think I did it. I think I did it. Trails allow you to send resources between different places in the frost and are required to operate outpost. The building sections with the trail construction is fit, has a fixed frost and team's requirements. Okay. Once research, you can construct railroads instead of trail instead of trails to ship more resources. Okay. Collect some di oh no, I don't want to eat dingleberries. I'm good, thank you. I thought so, but it wouldn't let me. So we'll do it like this for now and then we'll maybe fix it. I don't know. It wouldn't let me connect it. It wouldn't let me connect to that one over there. So I connected it to that one. And I'm hoping that that actually works. We'll see. We will see if that works or not. Just a gamble. All right, by a ways to drum hothouse. Loop. There we go. So that one may be already connected. I didn't build it like that, but potentially it is, yeah. It's connected to that bit, but yeah, it's not actually connected. Yeah, but see, it doesn't let me connect. Yeah, it doesn't actually let me connect. Hi, Boteki! I think I may have just wasted resources, to be quite honest. What was say? 97 more days. Right, right. Soon. William Hoff. Hunter. A new voice, the Ice Bloods. I doubted that we could adapt to the cold, yet we began striving for it. I doubt our. Oh. William Hof. Vim Hof. Nice reference. Nice reference game. Got it. I doubted we could adapt to the cold, yet began we began striving for it. I doubted this world could still reward competence, but they recognized my worth and granted me entrance. I doubted children could still learn to revere their elders, yet here my children tend dutifully to my needs. This made me realize what the city can become. The times of mere survival are gone. We must organize. A brighter tomorrow is when I reach. Ice spots form in support of durable goods. Allow productive outsiders and family apprenticeship. <laughs> Hi, Sakun. Good morning. Oh, dang. You look badass. They've organized into a faction. Ooh, hardened survivalists, they recruit from the most resilient and capable individuals in the city. This is their manifest. Adaptation. Merit and tradition. Unlocks the hunting trip community action. The Ice Force will send some people into the Frostland to hunt game. Ooh, oh, they popped up down here now. So you get different types of factions from the decisions that you make. That's cool. That's nice. That's that's a much more fluid society than in the first one. That's really, really, really cool. Some citizens are connected by passion and strong beliefs. Will organize and form groups known as factions. They are united are united in co by a common, clearly defined ideology. Will actively seek to implement it in all aspects of the city. They will propose extreme or radical ideas. They will also engage in disruptions, such as rallies and protests. You need to understand the desire of them, assess their fervor at all times, and proactively try to keep them in check. Okay, nice. Yeah, so I connected this, but then, yeah, the rest where it's like yelling at me that I can't. It's like not letting me. Hi, Amalfi. Good morning. How are you? 
Now it lets me, but I don't have enough money. I need 75 heat stamps. Okay. It's a bit buggy. It is also expensive, yeah, but that one is also a bit buggy because it only lets me connect if I click the one before it. Made some brekky. Let's go. What's for breakfast? How's Frostpunk so far? I like it. I like it. It's um more of the same but different. Like it's very good. Max Horkheimer. Wow, he is very uh German. 29. Researcher. Looks at the IceBots members leaving the Institute. They keep looking at my hands. Every day they come and pester me about my work. What are you doing? Can we push the other researcher along? Why are you halting the drafting of the new law we discussed yesterday? They want to influence what we do. IceBots. Bye, right, fair. Improved on the... Oh, crumpets and fruit. Oh, nice. Let's go. Um, it, it, it takes it more from a one city builder to a sort of a society builder it's a much bigger scope in a way and it takes it a bit further with the whole different faction like popping up that's really 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 cool i like that a lot the um most annoying thing right now is kind of like a technicality i hate the camera sorry that's like the only thing that really bothers me right now i hate the camera Mm-hmm. The camera annoys the crap out of me because it's so floaty. It's really hard to, like, actually stop the camera on what you want to look at because I'm pressing the button to move the camera. Press, 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 let go. And we keep going for, like, three more seconds and it annoys the crap out of me because it's so floaty. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. So connect there. I can't go through there because I have to hook up to that bit. Like, I can't, I can't go that way. It's not letting me do that. There and then there. Okay, more heat demand. I don't know if that actually connects to the city now. And I think the first one that we built here is also superfluous. Need better instructions for doing things. Filtration towers. Uh, how sorry. What do they do? Oh, squalor. How can we improve the air in the city? Moss filtration tower. Requesting expanding housing district. Okay. Ventilation tower. Or moss. Oh, they also want the moss filtration tower. Okay. Oh, the connecting trails. Yeah, the connecting trails is weird. Yes. Mm-hmm. Agreed. That one is strange. Because I think I basically wasted connecting it up to this bit. But it also didn't, wouldn't let me connect it otherwise. Yeah, that's true. The trails need a bit of a refinement, I reckon. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah, this one's running out. Keep it for the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get rid of it for now. Our population growth. Uh, with the situation, situation the city is favorable, population growth will progress quickly. Okay. If there's lots of issues, population growth is stagnant. Makes sense. It's currently minus 40 degrees, chat. Ooh. Literally frosty. Okay, so it did connect it sensibly. All right, construct this outpost. Boop. Yeah, I'll post this under construction. We'll get 20, 200 coal. How much? 200 coal per something or other. We don't know how much. Yeah. How many bandits have we encountered? Hi, Cybertras. None so far. Oh, it's currently extracting coal. 200. 
I guess, per day. Nice! Okay, cool. We're doing it. We're doing it. Heck yeah. Squalor, yeah. We need more materials. Yep, 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 yep. And we actually... Okay, we have a building slot here, but I don't think I have anything I can put in it. Let's go with the filtration towers. I presume if I go here and do this, I hope that also applies for the ice bloods. Because they do want the same thing. So I hope that that pushes both of them more favorable in my way. We'll see. Hey, Moni. Thanks for the watch streak. Enjoy your extra channel points. How are you doing this morning? Good to see you. Hello. Mm-hmm. Mm, that does look good. Amalfi, that breakfast does look good. Is it a Friday without crumpets? I mean, I mean... It's definitely pizza Friday. <laughs> You're okay? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you for asking. I'm doing pretty great. Minor tension. Notable squalor. Yeah, we need to we need to deal with that. I'm working on it, I promise. I guess can I also expand this? So we can get more materials because we're still really hurting. Hi, Mastani. Coming to the cold. Yeah, it is cold. It's minus 40 degrees right now. It is cold. Mm, my coffee. My coffee is also empty. Not cold, just empty. How's it going, Mastani? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Crumpets with uh, Dolce de Leche is so nice. Ooh. I can imagine. I guess we should explore more eh glacier what does that mean challenging territory but why is there a i don't know why there's an exclamation mark there they need to hive and cheese pizza for norm let's go all right see of ice not enough resources I don't have any Frostland teams. Ah, okay. Need to increase my logistics thingy, my jiggy bob. Got it. Uh, 82 hype, day 82 hype, cheese pizza. Ooh, pizza hype. I guess we need a frost break around here. So we can expand our logistics uh, department a little bit. Hey, Levy, good to see you. Hello, hello. Uh, what's my first impressions? I like it. It's um, kind of a continuation of the first one, but like advancing the systems, taking it kind of from a just a single colony builder to more of a society builder while still being a city builder. Um, it's gorgeous. I like the dynamic factions. Absolutely hate the camera, but that's 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 uh it so far oh god sue miller 12th apprentice spinning dog hair into yarn ouch my finger these freaking spindles mrs boss lady keeps joking i'll fall asleep and get woken up by a prince i don't get it if a prince came near me i'd rob him blind then make him do the bloody spinning it's all right gotta beat me record today strong nice yarn auntie mabel says if i can weave i can work with her at the mill beats freezing in the streets family apprenticeship promises a better future for the children of the city noise you almost bought it. The beta is only seven days. Correct. Yes. Yes. Indeed. So it is It is only seven days. It's only up to the 22nd. And you can also only play 300 weeks in game. So I've been playing for like what? An hour and a half. And I'm already on week 101. So patience. I would reward patience. Hi, Meteora. Long time ago, you took your neighbor out to lunch. Today, she bought you lunch. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's awesome. 
Oh, God. Are you wrestling a polar bear? You are an idiot. Okay. Icebots rallies build support. Stuart, the icebots have started gathering for a rally supporting your rule. Showing off frostbite scars and almost inhuman resistance to cold, they enthrall passers-by with feats of strength and endurance. One of them stripped half naked and wrestled a bear with bare hands. Cold and hard as steel. A man like that could survive anything, said an unlocker. What could we become if we cast away superficial gizmos and rely on inner strength? The icebots proclaim several things they believe will improve the city even further. Do you want to support one of them? Promise to research dutiful youth. Unproductive do maintenance. Promise to research weather adjusted shifts. Don't so show support. Uh, you want the OST and the art book, but not for the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The OST is great. That's tradition and merit. Let's go. Unproductive do maintenance work. Oh, yeah, they're having a rally over there. I see. So I guess that would be in society. No. Economy. Community service. No. It's not survival. Where would this be? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to do more of that. Yeah. No, no, there's not. Ta no, there's tabs at the bottom. Hi, ads. No, no, no. Uh. These are not tabs. You can't click these. There's just tabs at the bottom here for economy society rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, looked lock in economy. Oh, maintenance duty. Yeah. Research unproductive to maintenance. Yes, I'm. Oh, I have to research it first. Okay, it's a research thing. Never mind. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. It's a research thing. Uh. Food additives. We could do foraged additives. And we'll just wait for it and say, you got the wrong medicine list. You can't apply for the weather stuff that you need. No, can you fix it? Can you go get the right stuff? Also, hi, Magical, good to see you. Okay, we added that. And now we have a surplus of food. We're no longer starving. Woohoo. Alright, and then extraction. Yeah, we can't build anything yet to help that extraction thingy. You're starving. We're no longer starving. We've, we've got food. Interesting that that mine, I guess, is not permanent. This mine. Because it will eventually run out. Yeah, in 110 weeks. Okay. You're starving. Well, then go make some food. I have it on good authority that Amalfi has food right now. They're close to die. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Cybertrust. That's frustrating. That's annoying. What? You have food. So uh, they can go get that from you, right? Right? No? No. Oh, okay. What's the problem here now? Dr. Roberta Neumann. <laughs> Some of these names are so German. 27. Frightened by growing presence of ice pots. The city is changing. We started a family here. We bought children. We toiled against the hardship like everybody else. But now these ice bloods, they walk around telling people what to do, what I think. They spout, what they spout though is utter folly. Against everything that made us, I, we will not uh, have it. Oh, technocrats have formed. Mmm, skeptical. Tech minded and calculating people, recruiting those who value a cold and rational argument. Progress, equality, and reason. I see. Oh. Skept oh, they're skeptical with me. Got it. Hi, Kodai Ryu. Good to see you. Hello, hello. 
How are you today? We're tempted to order Subway because wife has gotten food at her work twice this week. Mm. Subway is kind of nice. Agreed. <laughs> oh, you can actually see the trade routes that we've built as well, or the trails that we've built. That's kind of neat. That is kind of neat. So, now that I increased this, they only gave me five, though. Hi, Rock Penguin. Good morning. So, that didn't give me enough to explore more out here, I think. Because I need, I need, yeah, I need 10. And I only have five teams available. So I need to do some research. That allows me to make more. Oh, you're empty now, aren't you? All deposits extracted. Disable lack of required deposit. Ooh. Okay. And now we're out of materials again. You're worried there's an OP path uh, as religion in the first one? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, wow, my materials is lacking. Okay, we got... Moss filtration thing. But that needs 180. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there probably are. But to get there... Oh, there's materials over here. Iron ore is much better. Okay. We have to frost break a lot to get there. Yeah, we'll have to do that first and then go from there. Hope you're doing well today, Rock Penguin. It's good to see you. And then there's another one over there as well. Got it. You like the coloring of the houses? With the blue? Yeah, I think, yeah. They just have less snow on them, I think. Oh. Stuart, it was only a matter of time. We have an unusually long streak of mild we weather, but now meteorologists are clear. There's a familiar drop in air pressure at higher altitudes. A wide out is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun. Without shelter and ample fuel, our people will be at mortal risk. We have to prepare. A wide out arrives in 80 weeks. Heat demand will increase greatly. Oh boy. What resources are there? There is heat. Shelter, food, materials, goods, coal, frostland teams, and gods. So it steam cores, yes, they also exist. We don't have any yet. And then there is a currency that you need as well. So it's much more complex, actually. Bio waste drum hothouse. Dude, a bio waste drum hothouse has begun cooperating with people who forage for food additives in the frostland. On top of their regular duties, they provide it with leaves, animal carcasses, and feces mm, in order to enrich its compost. This will no doubt increase our food outpost. Very nice. Combination of forged additives and bio-waste drum hotters increases food production. That's actually really cool. If you... that... because you voted for both of those and implemented those changes, you get that. That's very neatly done. I like that. So you can combine things like that. A bit better. Uh, can you make your own steam cores in this? No. They've already said you cannot. Yeah. You have to forge for them. Synergy potential. Yeah. No, it's not Rico. I said yesterday we're not going to do Rimworld today. Also, hi. How's it going? This is the Frostpunk 2 beta. So I said we were going to do that today. <laughs> and then later we're doing planet crafter with lex and that's gonna be 
uh, in about an hour or so. Because Lex actually is doing um, uh, work from home today. So he'll be down with work at 12 and he'll be free right on the dot. And then he is going to eat lunch and then we're going to get started, I reckon. You would have gave me the iron for a long time as it went down to one quid, 150. Nice. Which one? Excuse me. Which one? Uh, I need a extraction district. Boop. You will hack the planet? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Destroyer 2 is a little Space Empire game. I see. Not played that one. But that's hype. Okay, I will frost break this area so we can get access to this logistics area as well. So we can do more exploration. They fail English? That's impossible. Mm-hmm. I think the campaign from the first game was six weeks long. You get to run the city for years. Yeah. Multiplayer planet crafter. Yeah, you want so planet the planet crafter came out in 1.0 uh, a couple of weeks ago, and it's multiplayer now. Mm-hmm. It's uh, really heckin' cool, actually. Okay, so that should fix our material shortage, I hope. To a degree, at least. We'll say. For Frostpunk? I don't know. I don't know if they're... I don't know if this is going to have workshop support. Oh. I don't know, Izzy. Maybe. Uh, separated families. Oh gosh. Stuart, a large group of people have set up camp outside the city by one of our checkpoints. They claim to be relatives of outsiders we left in. Uh, we left in. My daughter is alone in there, said a distressed mother. You need to let me in. She needs me. After checking, we told her daughter a 15-year-old laundress is safe and doing well, but the mother won't budge. Like her, the others were refusing to leave until they're let in. What should we do? We'll increase the percentage of active worker less efficiently. Okay. If someone qualifies for entry, we will let his close relatives in as well. Yes. Yeah, this is the humane thing to do. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it is if I destroy this. We get... No, we get heat stems back. Yeah, we get heat stems back. I guess we probably want to demolish it. Asking nicely didn't work. Time to stir up some trouble. Are oh, they joining the ice bloods? Okay. For our children's and our children's sake. Why are you doing that though? Our disease is up. Oof. So yeah, we get we get some some money back for dismantling stuff. All right. We still are short materials. Holy smokes. That's wild. Okay, it's popped to. Th oh, did we? Is it because we did not do? Let's work compensation. Hmm. Watchtowers. So where's the actual youth? Dutiful youth. No, where's the? I would like mm, it to show me where this is in the research tree that we need to research. It is probably an economy, but... Oh, there it is. Maintenance duty. There it is. Oh, it doesn't cost me anything. All right. Do that. Yeah, I just didn't see it. I find the, I find the research tree a bit clunky. Oh god, they're bringing, begin protesting. They've been growing skeptical towards the direction of the city, and now they decide to protest, blocking all activity in the district. The city is changing and for the worse. They demand you repeal, allow select outsiders. They will keep protesting until you respect the demands. We'll deal with them later. Why would they react against... Why would they protest 
against allow productive outsiders. They're technocrats. They believe in reason and logic. So why would they want everybody to come in? That makes no sense. Hi, Tofu Monks. No, they're not a cult. They're just a faction. Um, both of these down here, they're... So we started with the Forages and the Machinists. They're behind me. And then you can get sub-factions, depending on how you do certain decisions and how your city goes. And then they come with different demands overall and that sort of stuff. If you don't want to negotiate with the protesting faction, guards can disperse them. If you improve relations, the protest will also cease. We can fund their project. Crowning them agenda is a fair way to give them a chance at changing the city. Otherwise, we can make a promise to change a different matter that concerns them or promote the faction as a whole. Okay. Sorry. Progress. Okay. Okay, fund projects benefit to their community, larger their population. Okay, so if I p spent the money, they get happier? Okay, yes. But they're still happy, they're still not happy enough to let me do stuff. And now the ice bloods are uh, unhappy. No, not really. They're not really fascists. They're not. They're just different factions different flavors of the base factions you start with. And some of them are a bit crazier than others. <laughs> oh, it's saying to build a research institute because my research institute is currently not working. Got it. Because they're protesting. I'm pretty sure it's a, kind of a bug. Yeah, yeah, it's similar to factions in Stellaris. Yeah, I'd say that. Uh, here. Logistics district. Get that going so we can do more exploration. Mm-hmm. And then we'll go from there. It's, it's, we're doing okay so far. We're still accepted. That's actually better than it was. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, sorry, Mr. Wizard. No luck. No luck. Sorry. But keep trying. Maybe later. Oh, food. <gasps> right, right. Why is my food? Oh. Because they're still protesting my food. Gosh darn it. Make promise, promote. How do I send guards to sh shut down a protest or protests? Oh, negotiate uh, end to the protests. Ah. Uh. You need 24 to shut them down. I don't think we have access to nukes yet. Okay. You need to repeal family apprenticeship. Do this, we are done for now at least. Why? Why would you do? Why? That makes no. I will not repeal family apprenticeship. Cheeky buggers. Hi, Grey Cat. How's it going? Good to see you. So, what does a rally do? Does that have rallies in progress? Hmm. It doesn't actually say anything that it, like gives you a bonus. The last ones are delighted that you kept your word. They now look upon your rules more positively and consider you a leader with integrity. Oh my. Mmm. 
Not bad, not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Okay. We did our thingies. So let's explore the sea of ice. Bloop. And we'll see where that car is. And what we can find there. Make a promise. Pro start quest to pass. Oh, support at quarantine. Destroy the bio waste drum hothouse. Promise to research liberated youth. No, I will do support at quarantine though. I will do that actually though. Because I actually want that. <laughs> I actually want that. Anyhow. Uh, hospitals. I think it wasn't hospitals. Nope. Oh, lordy. Um. I saw it somewhere. Oh, I don't remember where it was. Oh, that's a, that's a Varty thing. That's what it was. Oh, this is still the whole maintenance duty thing. But I didn't... Vote. We didn't tell them to, to like... Vote on it. We just researched it yet. But I think they're progressing... On voting for it regardless and they're kind of just arguing about it all right Ooh, there's 10 percent ice bloods now technocrats are only eight percent though so ice strider it takes the chill tag to a whole new level it does oh okay wait a minute we have shoots This is not a bad thing necessarily. But we're extracting too much coal. Yeah, we're currently extracting too much coal. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you if you could click it and then have it show up, that would be amazing, honestly. Yeah, logistics base. There's just space storing, handling, only such a survivor game, providing training on how to use it efficiently. We get more teams. Forages. Automated logistics bay. Vanguard. Automated. Let's go for automated and develop that idea. We have to click to vote for them to actually vote, or does it happen? I think it automatically happens, but we can also just vote on it. Yeah, we can just do a vote the on it. The it was rejected. That's okay. We just promised to research it, not to pass it. Uh, we're just one city, Sakun. Yeah, we're just one city. We can have outposts. Okay, yeah. It's in recess for 10 weeks now. We can have outposts, but they supply us. Which is why we're getting so much coal right now. Though I wonder, can I turn this off for now? Yes. That was probably smart, right? Oh, I see. I see why our, our requirements suddenly went down so much. It's because it's warm. It's minus 30, but temperature is going to go down quite a bit soon tm in week 150 so after then we can turn that back on i reckon so it's very temporarily that we have that will run out there yeah you're still in recess even though it says there's a law available i can't do anything with it um 
Yeah. I can't do... Well, we have 36 weeks to do support a quarantine. So we'll work on that, I suppose. For now. <laughs> the teams... Five weeks to track the territory. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And this extraction district is still doing its jobby job. Okay. So far, so good. We're still lacking some good story. And the only thing you hear in Frostbunk is it's, it's warm. It's only minus 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely a Frostpunk thing exclusively. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you got a cookie for after dinner. Which one did you get? Which cookies did you go for? I think the other... The other fact... Well, so you can start with different factions. Other factions are locked in the demo, though. So you can only do foragers and machinists. But there are other factions. And I suppose those can come up with different sub factions so to speak you got double chocolate and wife has rainbow dang let's go okay too many people i rise housing district housing district expand it uh, we can't get any more bonus district like with bonus heating demands but we need more housing because our population grew, so... Let's get that going. I like that, though. Like, I like that the faction system... Makes it so much more... Um... Dynamic. Yeah, I like that it makes it so much more dynamic. So, uh, yeah, that's really, 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 really cool. Yep, those are rallies. They have positive, okay. They gain members, gain influence over a district, will engage in positive events for the city. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, one more week. Until we can vote in the council. Yeah, people are cold because shelter scarcity. How did our number of available housing go down? Even though we built more houses. Did we get even more people? Possibly, I guess. Possibly, I guess. Okay. Our heat demand is 35 because of minus 30. I need to see what minus 40 does. Like, how much How much does lowering the temperature change it? Hi, leader. Frostpunk 2. Yeah. Hi. It's the beta. But this is not the full game. This is just the beta that you can play at the moment. If you either get a key or buy um, into it, which I would not recommend doing because it's very expensive. I got a key for it. The protests, oh God, spreads. I'm sure they keep the stockpile for themselves. Take it away from them. Crowds storm depots of coal. They overpower any work that tries to protect what the city had in storage. Stockpile of coal disappears. Wow. Cheeky bugger. You have to buy... You have to buy... The... Um... You have to buy the... Early access, like... Um, special edition, basically. It's, it's very pricey. It's like 70... Euros? Yeah, you have to buy the deluxe edition. 
It is very pricey. Yes. Which I did not do. I got a key to showcase it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the game itself is not yet available. Just the beta right now. There we go. Contagion prevention. Supported quarantine. We will pro pro propose it. We will vote on it immediately. Oh, God. Ask your votes. Oh, no, are you kidding me? Fudge. Oh, my Lord. There's three days of beta access left. Yes. Beta access was for a week. It goes to the 22nd. Correct. Okay, let's see. How does the heat demand? Oh, it's still not minus 40. We're still missing housing, though. Holy smokes. Okay. Guess we need the housing district. Oh, there's not enough cells over there to finish it. I see. Now, we get a bonus if we cozy it up like that. I had to make tortellini. Okay. 70. Wow. The heat demand just went down by a lot. Minus 30 made it, 30, made it 35, but minus 40 increased it to 700. Hot damn. All right. We need to turn the meager coal mine back on. Oh, saving. Turn this back on. Supply me with your stuff, please. Thank you. <laughs> you get the three DLCs. Yeah, and the soundtrack and stuff. With hunger becomes becoming a pressing concern, you must find practical solutions to address the growing food shortage and ensure our people are fed. We either can think about improving methods of growing food in the city or look for more sources of it. Yes, I know. My problem is... I have food production. I have good food production. But... People are heckin' protesting in it right now, so I can't get there. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Strider! Thank you! Okay, we'll frost break and increase our buildable area. Take my bottle caps and don't tell anyone. Thank you, Strider! I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for the support. Oh god, our food is so, so rough right now. When is the whiteout coming? 190, all right. No, I I mean, I think technically long pork is a thing in this game. I don't know if it's a, thi a thing in this one. It's more like sawdust in your soup <laughs> type stuff. Okay, that should give us enough shelter now. Yes, okay, we have enough shelter. So the cold issue should be going away. No, we still are lacking shelter. Are you kidding me? Goodness. Do I feel frost punky? I do. Hi, disaster coffee. I do. I do. Also, thanks again so much, Shredder, for the 300 bits. I do appreciate the support a lot. Okay. Uh, frost break more because I need to get to the food up here if they keep still freaking rallying over there and like blocking my food production grumble 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 while wow, the tensions notable oh god we have explored the frigid first all right oh these are the sledges again got it oh thanks decrepit village once some pre-frost community these shacks are much uh, are worth much more to us deconstructed into materials. Ah, materials. Heck yeah. Ration bunker. The door to our bunker glinted in the snow, revealing a massive horde of rations. 
70 food harvest okay they're arranging a harvesting area i presume we have to connect it shipping to the city yeah wait are they just doing that now does this not need a trail okay i guess that doesn't need a trail I guess only the heavier goods need a trail? And then... Oh, we still can't quite... Wait, wait, wait. How far away can I pull this? Not that far. You can't quite reach it. Hmm. Hi, Rainforester! It goes! So I gotta wait a little bit. Well, it's not pre Frostpunk, it's post post -frunk, uh, Frostpunk. Technically. Because cause this is after the first one, but it's going alright! It's going alright! Um, So far, yeah. It's quite good. I like it a lot. It's, um kind of a continuation of how the first one went but more complex and i really like it yeah rally and ice buds private study yields results ice buds successfully research coal mines Stuart, the ice buds have extended their activities into a new district they have erected a stage near the hub and held Hold periodic rallies here as well. During the most recent event, they announced their brightest minds have been meeting in the evenings to draft plans and test different designs. After some time researching coal mines, they've presented their solution to the city. We've done all the work and laid out the plans. All the steward has to do is put it into action. They call on you to pledge your support for their solution. Build a dust coal mine. Disregard the study. Okay. Sure. build it oh yeah i don't like that you have to switch between it like that you'll be back in a few i've seen a bit okay that's okay i know what you mean about the ui this is not smart so we have both of the options for the dust coal mine like for the coal mine for the extraction district coal mining buildings that we can build and I don't like it that you have to hover over it and then switch between the different icons. Um, I find that makes it very easy to miss things. So I think it would be better if um, that were separate. If that were separate icons, like, next to each other. We still are trying to vote on this. 425 against 22, 53 are divided. I'm, I'm keeping it up to, to chance still, I know. They might reject it again. Okay, they didn't. Good. Hi, Thormodar, good to see you. Yeah, we've passed the law. I kept my promise. Their trust in me rises. The protests begin collapsing. Protesters are going home. So hopefully... Oh yeah, it's ticking down now. You can see it's going to go away. So we hopefully start making food again and other things. But now we also don't have enough housing. So we need more housing. Oh, you're streaking! Let's go! Thanks for the watch streak! Well, stream is utterly mad. It reset again. Mm. One of your basic quality of life study must keep changing a key feature with every update. Oh! It's Friday, what do they keep changing? Friday, get Gotta get down, down on Friday. Friday! Heck yeah! Friday hype! 
I hear you. You were hoping you could find the chill stream on Twitch. Now here you are. Yeah, it's a mere minus 40. I picks. Good to see you. Yeah, it's a mere minus 40 degrees. Uh, we are losing coal. Go home. Yay. Okay. Food. Food's up. Good. Coal is up. Are we stockpiling? Yes. Good. Because we got, we've got white art coming in. Mm-hmm. That reminds you. 80 day watch streak. Let's go. Hi, TX. Happy Friday. Good to see ya. Sorry. Uh, can we connect this now? Yes. Perfect. Okay, and get that hooked up, because then we can get materials in. We still need more shelter. Gosh darn it. Chad is not bullying with massive streaks. They're not bullying you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Giggles, Platy, CCP, and Ads have the longest watch streaks currently. Which are all of the same. That's a bit of a search, but that gets auto when you open the chest. You can't exit the chest with E. Uh, yeah, okay, that's dumb. Yeah, okay, no, that's dumb. Don't like it. You're bad for leaving the house for two whole days. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you leave? I swear. 100 and then 40 heat. Okay, we have the heat. I just need the shelter. Okay, hunger is diminishing. That's good because we're now starting to stockpile food. Hi, Snacklet. Good evening. How's Japan? No. Uh, okay, harvesting airs don't need to be connected by a trail. Got it. Good to see you. Hi. Hopefully the rain is left uh, let up for you. The iOS app doesn't have watch streaks at all, do they? You put the pictures in the Discord too? Yay! Okay, I need to look at them. Uh, is there UI scaling? Um, not currently, no. No, there's currently no UI scaling. I am playing on a 4040p monitor though. It is mostly okay. So it's mostly okay in terms of size for me. The only thing is, I find the description text, this text, would be nice if you could do this a little bit big, like if this could be a bit li a bigger. But I am on a 1440p display and it's not like overly horrid. But there is no scaling, unfortunately. Scaling would be lovely, yes. Hi, Finan, good to see you. Happy Friday. Uh, yesterday's rainy walk. Gotcha. Oh, that looks, lo that looks lovely. You went to Chinatown in Yokohama Harbor. Oh, that's so cool. More Japan pictures. Everybody with the Japan pictures. I love it. Oh, beautiful weather today, though. That's awesome. Also, 10 out of 10 on that hoodie. Just saying, you know. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Technically, you get the streaks on iOS, but you can't cash in. Ah, I see. Hmm. I see, I see. All right. Uh, Veronica Pettit, 73. Janitor, hauling buckets up the stairs. Uh, the elevator broke again. It's the newcomer kids, I'm sure. Little imps running up and down all day. The parents are no better. They push into the queues, buy out all the meat, get drunk and rowdy like wild animals. What do they contribute to the city? Who do they think they are to earn it? You amended the allow productive outsiders law to let in whole families, regardless of their qualifications. Well, yeah, that's okay, though. Uh, you know someone else had to play the first with the minus magnifying tool. Yeah. Yeah, there is no scaling as of at the moment. Like... There, there's upscaling and stuff like that, but there is no scaling of the UI, unfortunately. But then 
the UI settings is not complete. So hopefully we'll get that in the future. Fingers crossed. That would be good. That would be very, very, very good. Okay, we'll plonk in. A housing district over there because we're still short. Sounds like somebody's jealous and needs to get drunk and party for a day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds like it. I agree. Are we still working on connecting this? Oh, now we need to construct it. It's weird that you could build the connection first and then you construct it. But getting in the... Oh, there we go. Materials. Heck yeah. Look at us. Wow, we have so many materials available now. What kind of short and good story? My dad, you see, he's too old for that. Nah, 73 year olds can still get drunk. <laughs> uh, Harvester hangers. What do those do? Gleaning. Uh, aerodromes in which harvest is dispatched with the frosting to make sure every last bit of food is extracted and brought for sorting. And dedicated grading rooms. Harvesting efficiency is increased. Oh. Or. Harvester hanger. Slightly increased. Got it. I, I need more uh, heat stamps though. Hi, Sherlock Monkey! You have 100 days sober. So I don't know why or anything, just total. So, I do have a beast of a machine, Rainforester. So, take that into account. It is running quite nicely, though. It's definitely. Like, I have FPS uncapped and VSync on. So, it's definitely, like, running, like, smoothly and stuff like that for me. But I do also have a 4090, right? So um, that that's that. It does have upscaling in it. Though. And upscaling quality. So even for people on, a lo on lower spec systems, it should be okay. Because you can have upscaling on. Yeah, no, the first Frostpunk was super duper 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 rough. It was. Um, I turned post-processing off because there is a chromatic aberration and kind of like depth of field going on. And I don't like that visually. So I turned post-processing to very low. But that was a, a look choice, not a performance choice on my end. Um, I don't know what their requirements are. I didn't look at uh, hardware specs for this one. Minimum is a Ryzen 5 Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, a 1050 Ti. SSD required, ultra white, not fully supported during beta. So it's not too bad. Ryzen 7, i7, Intel, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 2060 Super or a RX 57. Uh, 5700. It's not too bad. It, it, um, you have a 1070 Ti. So, on minimum, you will be able to play this as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, minimum, minimum is definitely lower. It, it helps that it has the upscaling and that sort of stuff. Yeah, you're having some chicken banana curry pizza with Bernays sauce. You are being very Swedish there, Finn, and enjoy. That's all I'm going to say about that. Hi, Luxol. So, yeah, it's, um... I think they've heard... people's issues. And they're reacting to it. Mm-hmm. You have Bernay sauce and now you want pizza. Nah, pizza, sorry, but pizza's got to have... have, uh... Pizza has to have tomato sauce on it. Uh, refurbishing goods factory. Or 
calibrated goods. Squalor. Let's go with this one. Hi. Mwah. Hello. You're enjoying the fact that you have a 4070 Super now? Yeah. Right? But yeah, no, that's that's definitely good. And like that, the fact that they have the upscaling feature in it is quite helpful. All of them have tomato sauce as base. No, there are definitely white sauce pizzas on it that don't have that. Goo can have dinner. Goo is streaming. <laughs> Love the whole aesthetic of it. Yeah, so you should be able to play it. You'll just have to put it on minimum. But it runs okay. Like, yeah, it does run okay. Yeah, exactly what the just says. Yeah, and barbecue sauce pizzas as well. Um, neither of which I'm a fan tomato base or bust but um uh yeah it runs really well for me but then as i said beast of a system but it, they still have three months right and the upscaling is probably gonna do a lot of work in that regard which is great Oh yeah, we got the automated logistics by Plonk. No, I I don't like it. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. It doesn't have to be just tomato and herbs. Mm, it's going well, my gunner, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 Meteora. There are white sauce-based pizzas hey, that wait. don't have um tomato sauce as a base yeah mm-hmm yeah 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 no you can have instead of trails you can have trains i just don't have trains researched yet no it's good i like it i'm looking for, like the beta is making me want to play more um the only my biggest gripe with it is the ui needs a little bit of refinement i don't like it that you have to switch between the different types of buildings in a sub menu in the sub menu i don't like that it's very confusing the way they've done it and i don't like the camera mm-hmm right combo right hi pia fella i don't like the camera it's far too floaty like i'm this is me moving the camera around with wasd right i'm pressing the key pressing the key pressing the key letting go and you keep going for like three more seconds it's super hard to focus on what you want to focus on because the camera just floats into nothingness and i hate it if i stop pressing a button the camera should stop it's a very nitpicky complaint. I know that. But it's still annoying me. You says tomato pe uh, tomato sauce is base. Fair. Fair. Okay, I'm going to save up to build the moss filtration tower, which is 180 heat stamps. How is my coal looking? Oof. Oh god, we're spending already again. Oh no. Do I even that's that's materials. Oh there's there's shallow coal over there. Or maybe I don't save up for it and we ice frost break towards the coal. Cause I think I do need that. It's ghost camera. If a man gets IVS, do they mean they need a colonoscopy? Yes. You are a Finn, but you are in Sweden, Finnan, and you're having a very Swedish pizza. Yeah, exactly. And you're having, like, the ultimate Swedish pizza. I swear, people get up in arms about pineapple pizza. That's just because they haven't heard about banana curry pizza. <laughs> you have the DLCs that you haven't played. Oh, I like some of the DLCs a lot. I like some of the DLCs for the first one quite a lot. There we go. 
Mm -hmm. Pineapple is despicable. No, it's delicious. Delicious is the word you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Your favorite is banana, pineapple, and bacon. There's pizza with both banana and pineapples called a tropical. I see. I see, I see, I see, I see. Hello, Diavolon. Good to see you. Swedish pizza overlord. Yeah, right? But that's what I'm saying, right? People get up and arms about pineapple. They've not heard about Swedish pizza. Uh, crevasse fields. No access there. Because I have no... I have, no, I have 10 people. Planes. Let's go to the planes. And have them chart that. Curry on pizza is nice. What kind of curry? Is it like curry powder? Curry sauce? Like actual Indian curry? Like, yeah, I don't know. Pizza's an open face calzone. Yeah, but I mean, that's what a calzone is. It's a close one. All right. Whiteout's ending the ice blood rally. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Materials production becomes inefficient. Okay. Oh, somebody's seeding my son. Where's my son? Give me my son back. Oh, God. Also, full disclosure, I don't mind you eating that pizza. Like, you do you. If you enjoy it, go for it. Research finished. Refurbishing goods factory. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the whiteout. Yeah. War. That coal spending, though. Oof. Yeah, we're going to get cold. Hey, hey, Valtresca. Hello, hello. Be good. <laughs> Hi. Uh, steel. Yeah. Oh, I broke them. That's fine. Uh, I broke their trust. This is going to be a problem. But we are building a new coal mine. So hopefully it's not going to be too bad. We'll see. Hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But it might very well be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The music is so dramatic right now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's advice to be prepared for white out. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. Okay. 220. 26 weeks of minus... I didn't even look at the temperature chat. It's minus 80 degrees. I didn't even look at that. That is. As they say, cold AF. Okay. I'm going to put that in there as well to get even more. It's very nippy. Yeah, rip the city. No, we're doing all right. We're just cold. Yeah, we're very cold. Very severely cold. Mm-hmm. But, but everything else is okay, so, so we're all right. Nah, Omri. England doesn't. England is a very. Um. Has a very mild climate. It doesn't get very hot and it doesn't get very cold. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is basically the storms from one. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely not enough. Temperature is hidden in part one. You have to stare at it all the time. I mean, it's right up there. It's not hidden. It's just up there in the... 
stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's gonna go up by two. I also love how it says the temperature will drop up to 20 degrees. I think you mean increase. It gets hot for about three days randomly in a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true, DJ. Also, hi. But, like, as a rule, long term, does not get hot. Uh, resource deposit nearly depleted. All right. Over there as well. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't have enough workforce right now. Yeah, I don't have a coal stockpile right now. <laughs> we do not have anything <laughs> right now. Oh, are we done? No, it's just randomly suddenly got a little bit brighter. It made me hopeful because there are patches of like no clouds. I guess we'll do some research. Can't do... Oh. Not available. Uh, hi, Beepop. Waiting for this to come to console. I mean, it's not out yet, right? This is just the beta. So that's, that's important to keep in mind. This is, this is just the beta. And, um, subsidized housing, dense housing, disease is slightly increased. All right, we'll just go for housing blocks. Um, I like a lot of the things that it does compared to the first one. It's grander in scope and it's more of a society city builder than a straight up like city builder where every single worker kind of, you know, matters in that sort of stuff. Um... And I like that playthroughs are a lot longer. Um, but obviously it's just the beta. So it's only going to give us like uh, a glimpse at the full game. Because it is both limited in days that you can play it. As well as in-game time that you can play. You can only play up to uh, 300 weeks in game. And we're already on 203. But I like it a lot so far. Um, visually, it's very gorgeous. Gameplay seems fun. The UI needs a bit of tweaking. Um, certain things are a bit unclear. Oh, I also hate the camera. But I think the camera probably actually works better on console. Because it's going to be nicer with the sticks. But me using WASD for this camera is annoying because it's a very floaty camera. I think this is a camera actually optimized for controller because it's very floaty. Are there mouse controls? Yes, but they're equally as floaty. Like this is me using middle mouse button to rotate it. Even that is like, wee, it's so floaty. It is, yeah, the soundtrack is also great. Yeah, it's just really floaty camera. There's a lack of spare labor in the city. We're all stretched thing. Most people see, well, yeah, 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 blah, 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 blah. But there's not a lack. We have technically 91 available. It's just right now, I presume, it's stagnating because white out. It's better than it rolls across. Well, it does, though, fully. It does. It adapts to the height map of the map, so it does do that. Or do you mean like it, like actual rolling? It kind of does that, though. Yeah, yeah, right? There's a lack of work for it. The apocalyptic blizzard? Exactly. Exactly. Ah, gotcha. But no, I really like it. Definitely, it definitely makes me want to play more. And definitely kind of... Makes me... Uh, excited for release. Yeah, we'll see how story mode goes. 
Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah, my food stockpile is full. Yeah, I don't have enough workforce right now to build anything. But I really, really um, like what I'm seeing so far. This is perfect, right? Right in yeah, July. It's like, hey, are you hot? Well, do I have the perfect antidote to you sweating away and getting really hot? Frostpunk 2. Hangman tree. A gnarly knotted tree standing alone in a barren plain. A threadbare rope is dangling from a high branch. Some claim it's an old news, fueling all sorts of stories. Banished foragers. We came a group of foragers wandering the frost land. There would be great addition to the workforce. May not be welcomed by every everyone. Yes. Yes, please. Please, I need workers. Mm-hmm. Gladly. Please, get your butts in here. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Okay, we're almost there. But also our resource deposits are... Oof. Not doing so hot. Except our food. We have so much food. Uh, for once. Ooh. Ceremonial funerals or harvesting funerals. Oh my. Ooh, nice Laxol. That's a fun game. Enjoy. I enjoy that game a lot. Basic necessities. I think I'll go with free essentials because we're doing all right in terms of uh, monetary income. I'll just try for it. And if we can get everybody to like us a little bit more, we might as well go for it. Yeah, because we're still getting 17, sorry. That'll hopefully make everybody like us a little bit more. Is this Crab Against Nature Electric Boogaloo? Wait, what? This game? No. Alright. Right. Caravan of Frost and Rouse has been caught in the whiteout. Sorry. They're not coming. They died? You should have informed me, game, that that was a possibility. It didn't tell me that if I sent them during a whiteout, that something might be, um, might happen. So, yeah. There's tiny little things like that, that they need to adjust the tutorial a little bit for to tell you that that is like happening okay we're just gonna speed this up people froze to death why because it was cold okay fair fair i guess death to the cold yep people will keep freezing to death until cold is brought down death worsens relations with everyone and trust falls okay fair enough they lasted quite long though. Okay, the storm is leaving. All negative effects are removed. Diminishing. Okay, let's go. Is there a temperature district overlay? Is there? I don't think that exists. The weather has passed. We've made it through. All right. 
In the past, why does the devastated our expansion attempts? We must let it happen again. We must find a permanent source of fuel. Okay. It reminds you of your hometown. It gets that cold where you are. Hot damn. Why is this not working? Not enough workforce. Okay. That makes sense, even though I have workforce. But all right. Okay, Sakuin, take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I don't like the way this, this food depart thing, like the depart, the selecting thing works. But the factories aren't abandoned. They're not, though. They're not. Also, hey, thank you for the follow there. Sorry, I missed that. <laughs> I, I miss a couple of things sometimes because this limits my field of view so much, this onesie. So it's hard to look at things. But no, I really like this. This is cool. I'm looking forward to the full game for sure. Housing insulation develop it let's go the commute distance or is the road length sufficient it's sufficient there's no commute stuff like that good morning everybody and welcome to the cult p.s it's my birthday yay me mm -hmm. hi keeper of time good to see you it's 1920 Asbestos is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. Yeah. Asbestos lining. They don't know any better. But no, this is really cool. I like it. I'm really looking forward to it. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Are you ready, Lex? Okay, Lex is technically ready. So I think I actually don't want to spoil on myself anymore. So we're gonna put a cap into Frostpunk 2 here because I don't want to get spoiled. Uh right? Like I don't I don't want to get spoiled anymore. And I promised you multiplayer with Lex today. So we're gonna do that. And uh, I'm going to take a super duper quick break because I need to pee again. Uh, because, you know, that's how that goes. And then we'll be back with Lex and doing some Planet Crafter. And uh, we're going to play that for the rest of the day. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, I will also end the YouTube video here. And there's going to be a second one popping up. Just so you're aware of that, how that works over there. So YouTube, I will see you on the other stream. And Twitch chat, thank you so much for being here and hanging out.